Hi there, Coldwell Banker Distinctive Properties Agents. This is Karen Beauvais, your responsible broker for Colorado. And I'm coming to you today regarding DORA and their new closing requirements. Now, don't be going after the compliance people in Colorado because you don't have everything. Because this is the new edict, if you want to say that Dora is requiring. There are some new ones. What I'm going to do is quickly go down the list of, of requirements for closings and for all of your real estate documents uh, in in the order that they're asking. And that doesn't mean anything is first or second. These are just the things they need. And for you people in out of state of Colorado, the, I'm sure that these are requirements for you also. So it's just a good refresher course. So what do you need to get paid is what it's called. First of all, you're going to need a contract, either listing contracts or buy and sell contracts, whichever ones you're responsible for. You need a counter proposal if applicable. You need the agreement to amend extend if applicable. You need an addendum to the contract if there was one. If there was a notice to terminate, gotta have it. Is there a bill of sale? If you need it, it's got to be there there also must have earnest money receipt and a copy of the check. If it's a wire transfer, just the receipt will say that. But if it's a check that was brought into your hands and you delivered it to the title company, need a copy of that check. An earnest money, money release form. Let's say the contract terminated and you're going to have an earnest money release. If that's applicable, need it. We need it. Seller's property disclosure. If it's applicable, if you have one, if you had one and signed by all parties, got to have it. Your source of water addendum, if the water source is not identified in your seller's property disclosure on a residential property, then we've got to have that source of water. Square footage disclosure for residential properties only. Your inspection objection, if applicable, if there was one. Your inspection resolution, if applicable. Your Seller warning. Now that's applicable only to foreclosures, so uh, we can get into that at another time. Your affiliated business arrangement disclosure and written disclosure of compensation for services, services and income from affiliated entities, if applicable. That would mean um, if you were getting a referral or if there was a company paying you, you need to have that in you have the file also. You need all of these the closed files from the title company except for the deed of trust you don't need to have the deed of trust in there but the com complete closed file documents from the title company and listen people if the deed of trust is in there and you want to put it all in one package that's fine too your mls listing history if applicable if it was in the mls and you had the listing put it in there in your closed file now, this is a brand new one. Your comp comparable market analysis. Listing people or listing sellers are asking us to do a CMA. Well, now Dora wants to see it. So if you did a, com a comparable market analysis, Dora wants it in your close file. Your property brochure and your marketing materials. What did you use to sell that property? Did you use a CB1, 2, or 3? They put it in the file give it to uh, the people in the compliance and put that in your records showing instructions this is a brand new one also just like your property brochure now Dora wants to know what did you do to show the property what are the showing instructions that should be in writing it can be something that you that you print and put it in the file but they want the showing instructions commission disbursement agreement now, everybody's on a commission disbursement uh, agreement with the with Todd and with everyone at Coal Banker Distinctive Properties. They want to know what your commission disbursement agreement is. Referral fee agreement, if there is any. And the lender letter. So many contracts are written with pre-qualification letters or the lender denied the buyer. Dora now wants to see the lender letter. If you prepared the deed, which I hope you didn't, but if you prepared a deed by the broker, that needs to be in the file. Rental or occupancy prior to closing, if there is a pre-occupancy uh, agreement or a post-occupancy agreement, it must be in the file. 
If you had a power of attorney, it must be in the file, signed. If there was a short sale addendum, if applicable, that should be in the file. Your seller authorization related to short sales, if applicable, needs to be in there. Your licensee buyout agreement, if you were buying your own property, needs to be in there. And post-closing occupancy. So, again, the brand new ones that we've never had to have before are the lender letter, your commission disbursement agreement, showing instructions, property brochure and marketing materials, and your comparable market analysis. That's all I've got for today. I think that's enough. If you have any questions, as always, give me a call. And don't go after the messenger or the people in the in your compliance. They This was all effectuate, effectual as of January 1st. So if there's something you don't have, they're going to be coming after you before you can get paid. Have a great week, and I look forward to talking to you. Bye-bye.